The pink and blue yes on one signs are everywhere, not only in Murfreesboro, but all over the state. This campaign is a hot topic that has everyone speaking out and thinking about what can really happen to any woman. Women and girls from neighboring states account for one out of four abortions in the state of Tennessee. A moving and well-produced video on the side of Yes on One portrays more women coming to Tennessee to have abortions. Amendment 1 will restore the right of the women in Tennessee. I do believe that they deserve a choice and the government should not infringe on their privacy to make that choice. This is a hard decision that many teenage and college-age women have to face. According to YesOnOneTennessee.org, basic common sense protections were passed by the Tennessee General Assembly to protect women's health and their decisions that they have to either face or consider. An abortion is technically a medical procedure and there's no reason that an abortion clinic can't be sterilized and inspected for health reasons. Opposition feels this is not the decision of the big government. Since the year 2000, Tennessee has been trying to restore the citizens' ability to decide what the abortion policies in the state are. No politician has the right to legislate these personal decisions. Stop, promote, provide, and require are the four words listed on the website. Amendment 1 is the constitutional amendment to pro-life here in Tennessee slated for public vote in 2014 with such a divided topic in the overwhelming abortion statistics that face Tennessee currently, it's an issue that will stay strong until the public speaks in the 2014 vote in November. This campaign claims not just pro-life, they just want women to be knowledgeable about their decisions, whether that is abortion or keeping life, as well as inspection, informed consent, and regulation of abortion clinics and facilities here in Tennessee.